Hi guys! I am really excited right now because I am in front of my Christmas tree. And I am pretty sure this is going to be my holiday setting. Um, this might be a couple videos after you've already seen this a couple of times. But I'm so in love. It is awesome. So, yeah. This is my Christmas tree. If you guys can't tell, it's... Can you tell it's black? I don't know. It's black. It's got little nerdy ornaments all over the place. It's Cartman, there's Darth Vader, there's the Joker, there's Batman down there. I love my little Christmas tree. It kind of matches my hair right now. But anyways, um, this video is Christmas related. It is pretty much um, going to be a gift guide video. And when thinking about what kind of videos to do for you guys, I've seen a ton of people do like makeup gift guides or like a whole bunch of other beauty and um, fashion related things. I wanted to do a gift guide of a struggle that I know a lot of people I know go through and that is shopping for me. So it's not a gift guide for me, it's a gift guide for you guys who are trying to shop for your nerdy and geeky girls in your life, um, whether that be a girlfriend, a sister, a secret Santa at work, your daughter, any type of female that is in your life that is nerdy, who likes nerdy things, this is going to be a gift guide to help you out. This isn't going to tell you exactly what to buy them, it's going to kind of sort of um, help you in deciding what to get them, kind of sort of. Um, it's not specific on one genre, it's not going to be this is what to get a Star Trek fan, this is what to get someone who likes The Walking Dead, this is just going to be everything in this little video is very generic to that. It's going to lead you in the direction to kind of pick something out for them. Okay, because that was kind of what I was going for. I didn't want to be like, well, if you someone likes Star Wars, you should get them this, or if someone likes Star Trek, you should get them this. I didn't want to be that specific. I wanted to kind of give you guys options and then you can pick within those options. Okay. Whew. This video is also going to be kind of a collab with a YouTuber, a girl that I know from Instagram. Um, it's That Geek Online. She's going to be linked below. She's doing a video about I roughly picked five things. She's going to pick five things. I was trying to find someone to do this with who could kind of give um, more more opinions, different opinions, and different ideas because there's only so much I can kind of think of and someone else would kind of give you guys, you know, some some more into it. So if you guys want to check out her video, I'm not sure if it's going to be up before or after my video, but her video will be linked below. So I have category or gift idea. It's something that's really popular right now. You can get it at Target, Walmart, FYE, Spencer's. Hot Topic has a ton of them. I personally like going to Barnes & Noble because they are a little bit cheaper. Um, I can also get them if you live in the New, the New England area. Newberry Comics sells a ton of them. Check your comic shops. Even Amazon has tons of these. And what am I talking about? Pop figures. I have a crazy amount of these guys. This is probably one of the only ones I have in my box because this is actually for somebody. But um, these guys roughly range, if it has, this one doesn't have a price on it, anywhere from $12 to $8 depending on where you go. And the selection of fandoms is insane. Um, so this is a really good gift idea if you aren't really sure what to get somebody. I, I get I get these for a lot of people. This is for one of my friends. It is Eric Northman from True Blood. I have I got my best friend Opie from Sons of Anarchy for Christmas birthday for her birthday, not Christmas. Um, I've gotten my boyfriend these. I get a ton of people these. I have roughly I want to say like seventy of them. It's kind of bad, and ironically, it started off when I got one as a gift. They are awesome, they are really inexpensive, and you can seriously, if you can think of a fandom, aside from Doctor Who, because they don't have it, they have these. And if you know the person get like likes these, then that's completely awesome, or even if they don't, it's an awesome gift to kind of give someone, because they're cute. 
And like I said, they come in different fandoms. I have a couple here with me. I have Batgirl. I have Gizmo. So what they look like outside of the box. And then I have one of my personal favorites. Oh my god, I kind of hold her because she falls off her stand. Because some of them are bobbleheads. Princess Leia. So, they're adorable. You can get them from Star Wars, Game of Thrones. They have Batman, Walking Dead. They have event, like all the Marvel characters. They have the Goonies. They have Arrested Development. They have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They literally have every, you can, if you can think of it, they have it. They have the Ghostbusters, which I have Stay Puft Man, and I should have brought him in because he's huge. Like, Stay Puff is, is pretty big. Oh, hold on. This is an average pop. He is a lot bigger than an average pop. He also costs a lot more. I got this for Eric, and, because Eric loves Ghostbusters and Stay Puft, but, um, they seriously have these guys in every fandom you can think of. Firefly is coming out in January, which makes me kind of sad because I wanted to hopefully get them for Christmas. But they are adorable. Look at them. Like, just just look at Stay Puft. Look how adorable he looks. He's, he's just so cute. And then Gizmo is adorable. These are addicting. They have them in horror. I have a bunch of horror ones. They have... I'm just looking over at mine. Um, they have, like, Jay and Silent Bob. They have tons, tons, tons. They even have Frozen. So even if you have, like, a little nerd, like, a little girl who, like, loves Frozen, they have them in Frozen. They have a ton of Disney. So if you're stuck and you're like, I really have no idea what to get this person, but I know that she really loves Disney, just just go get, get them a pop. Go get him a little Disney pop. They have Clocksworth from Beauty and the Beast, which is adorable, and I kind of really want him, and I'm kind of hoping that I get him for Christmas. But that's besides the point. If you can, fi if you know generally what kind of fandom they like or what they're into, you can probably pick out a pop. And I've gotten duplicates before. I have two Batman. And I really don't care because they're adorable and I don't really mind having two Batman. So if you accidentally get them something that they have or that if they collect pops already and they already have it, it's not going to be a huge deal. But it is, it gives you guys, you guys, a really big option on what to get somebody. And they're adorable. Like, look at them. It tells you on the back what other ones you can get. And they're just, they're really, really awesome. So like I said... I'll try to link below um, some places you can get them. I know Amazon is awesome because, like, some places like Hot Topic and FYE, they limit a little bit. They have, like, The Walking Dead, Batman, My Little Pony, um, Adventure Time. They have they have a bunch of them, but they don't have as much as if you were to go on Amazon. Um, I personally like going on Amazon to order them, and Barnes & Noble has a ton. And I, it's just, I like going to places with more, more variety. Because it gives me the option to kind of be like, ooh, I like searching. But that's just me. Okay, so that is, that is, that is number one. That is probably the m most variety that you can kind of go through and find. Number two has a lot of variety to it also. It's also slightly different. And it's one of those things where you're giving it a little bit of thought and it's really, really cool. So hold on. I personally have a ton of these because I get them for gifts a lot and they're really awesome. Every single one of these I'm showing you I've gotten for a gift and I don't really never not liked it and that's um books but it's not just any book. It's kind of like a book that's based on the fandom or shows you like behind the scenes things on the fandom. For instance I have this Harry Potter one as I'm dropping them because they're on my lap and they're books and they're heavy. Um, this Harry Potter one, and it's film, film wizardography, and it's from the creating team behind the scenes of the movies, and it has a whole bunch of, like, stuff from behind the scenes of Harry Potter, and it has props in it, like, there's a ticket to the Yule Ball, there's the map, where's the map? The map is in here somewhere. They have the map. They have, um, just, like, props. Oh, there's the map. It has 
the map, and it, it, it's really, really awesome. My aunt had gotten this for me for Christmas a couple years back, and she wasn't really sure what to get me, and she was just kind of browsing through Barnes & Noble and saw this and was like, Ashley loves Harry Potter. This is really cool. So that's one of the book examples. And then last year, Eric had gotten me this one, which is... Um, a Marvel book and it says Marvel the characters and their universe and in it it just shows like the history of ca like the characters and stuff and action figures I'm trying to get a good page like it has it's huge I'm sorry it has like Captain America and in it it has just like different histories like she was like the Spider-Man movie X-Men, different chapters on different characters from the Marvel Universe. And Eric had got me this last year as kind of like a small present. Um, and I thought it was really cool. And the cover like, is like metal. So they have a ton of these. They have them for like DC. They have them for like Star Wars. I have one for Star, I have one for Star Wars. But it's really heavy and I didn't really want to lift it up. This was the least of the heaviest. Um... I don't know how much he paid for it, but usually these books run for like twenty, um, twenty to forty dollars. Sometimes they might be more. Um, I have a uh, the bro code from How I Met Your Mother, which is really awesome. Um, it just has like all of the bro codes, and I open up to the first one, which says Article sixty nine. Duh. <laughs> um, this is really awesome. This was also given to me as a birthday present from a friend, and. It just has all of the How I Met Your Mother stuff. You can go into Barnes & Noble and just look. And they have, like, a section of all of, like, the movie books. And they have it sectioned off, like, Nightmare Before Christmas, Doctor Who, Star Wars. Like, you just walk around Barnes & Noble and you can find books like this. That's really awesome for a gift. And then finally, this one um, was given to me from Eric. They have another one like this, which is called The Book of the Sith. And this is The Jedi Path. And this is an awesome book to give as a gift to, um... But what's really cool is, like, the pages, if you guys can see, are, like, weathered. And when you open it up, it shows, like, who has had this book. And then as you go through, let me find a good page that has a lot of it on it. Where is it? It has, like, little notes from each person. Like, this one... <laughs> Like, Anakin wrote something, um, Luke had written something. It's, like, kind of like, if you know when you guys got test books in, like, high school or, like, elementary school or junior high and someone else had it before you and they, like, circled things and they're, like, go in the back of the book for the answers. Um, this is what's in that. And it also teaches you the ways of the Jedi, so that's really cool. It's a really kind of fun gift. And you can find books like this, like the behind the scenes, like Harry Potter books for other movies, or like um, uh, like Doctor Who books like this, or stuff like that, all if you go to like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all that type of stuff. And it's really fun because you're kind of focusing on something they love. And if you know someone like Star Wars, if you know someone like Harry Potter, if you know someone who likes Marvel, it's... It's really, really kind of, yeah. It, it's a good, it's a good kind of different. This next thing is more geared towards clothing, and I'm going to do like a subcategory with that too. But I know some people don't feel comfortable buying people clothes. I know that like my boyfriend the first year we started dating was like, I didn't really want to buy you clothes because I didn't want to ask you your size. But um, this website that I want to tell you about doesn't just have regular clothing. They have nerdy scarves, nerdy leggings, they have a bunch of stuff. And that is HerUniverse.com. And the reason why I'm just telling you guys about Her Universe is because I can I have a ton of their clothing to like just tell you guys they're good clothing. You don't have to just get it from HerUniverse.com. They sell it to Think Geek, Think, Think Geek, if I can speak. Think Geek and Hot Topic. But HerUniverse.com has like subcategories that tells you like different fandoms of Star Trek, Star Wars, Walking Dead, Marvel, and it's all there, and they don't just have clothing. I have most of their clothing, like I have a couple of pieces with me, not all of them. I have a TARDIS skirt, which I've shown you guys, I've done an outfit of the day with this, so it's, it's, they have a TARDIS skirt, and then they have kind of like costume dresses, like this one, 
which is the 10th Doctor. It looks like his outfit. They have a bunch of those in different fandoms. They have a Han Solo dress, which I have, which I would have brought out here, but it's in the wash. They have, like, a bunch of Star Wars dresses, like um, R2-D2, Darth Vader. They have Marvel dresses that look like Loki's dress. They look Loki's dress. Loki's outfit, but it's in dress form. They have, like, um, Star Trek ones that look like the Starfleet uniforms. They have a ton. And if you don't want to get them clothes, I'm going to put up pictures over here so you guys can see. They have scarves. They have beautiful scarves. They have a Daryl Dixon scarf, which looks like his poncho from the series. And I'm going to show you guys pictures here of them from the website. And they have a gorgeous Doctor Who scarf that has, like, the TARDIS Van Gogh painting on it in, a, in scarf form. They have that, and that is just, oh, it is so pretty. And not only do they have beautiful scarves... But they have a nerdy high-end jewelry line. Yes. Yes. It's geared mostly around Star Wars. They have Darth Vader and R2-D2. But just, just look at these pieces. They're gorgeous. They, they're just like, I look at them and I'm just like, just shut up. Take my money. I want all of them. They're so damn freaking pretty. And they're nerdy. If you, if you know a girl who loves Star Wars or Darth Vader or R2-D2... That would be fantastic. But not only do they have, like, the high-end jewelry, they have um, charms for, like, bracelets. They have earrings. They have a ton. They have awesome leggings. They have zombie leggings, which I really kind of want. And their leggings are awesome quality. So if you're getting something from, like, your daughter, or if you're one of those brave boyfriends who actually do buy their girlfriend's clothes, um, or if you know if you're want to get something for your, your girlfriend, not your girlfriend, but your, your friend, and you know her size, and you know that she doesn't have any of these, or you really know that she would be like, she would flip the hell out if you gave her a Han Solo dress, because my Han Solo dress was a gift, and you knew that as soon as she opened it, and she'd be like, oh my god, it's a Han Solo dress, and freak the hell out. Seriously, check out her universe. It is just full of awesome. Okay, this next thing is pretty much a win-win and it is a subscription box actually it's not just this one it is a couple of them but I personally have Loot Crate it's empty it's the empty box but Loot Crate, Nerd Block and I think the Nerd Block, Horror Block and Arcade Block have monthly subscription boxes that you pay anywhere from like 12 to 20 dollars a month and you get a box of nerdy goodies sent to you once a month. It's simple as that. You can buy them in one month forms, two month forms, um, one month forms, three month forms, or a whole year of them. So if you just want to get her one, that's fine. If you want to get be nice and get her three, that's awesome. If you want to get her a whole year subscription, I know I wouldn't say no. I'd be like, that is awesome. And what it is, is each month it's a new theme. Same thing goes for nerd block, horror block, and arcade block. Um... All the links will be down below. I personally have only gotten Loot Crate. I know my friend Meg has gotten Horror Block and she loves it. Um, and each month is a new theme. I have a ton of reviews of Loot Crate and unboxings down below if you guys want to see them. There's There was the Villains Crate, there was the Heroes Crate, there was the Fear Crate, there was a couple of other ones too. There's a Transforming Crate. They base them on themes. Um, this month, which I didn't, I canceled Loot Crate for the holiday season because I wanted to get money for gifts but this month was like a Nintendo theme so if you get her like three boxes you know pay for three boxes she, there's a good chance that she can probably get something that she likes and it gives it has such awesome little things in them they come with books toys t-shirts it's it's just awesome so I'm gonna link down below to those subscription boxes they're they're, they're really awesome just to give as a gift because it's kind of like you aren't really sure what to give somebody this is just really really fun the next thing is kind of everything that I just told you about all rolled into one and it's creating a fun kind of gift and um, I have done something like this last year for one of my friends and Eric had did something like this for Easter for me and what it is is you get some kind of container this is all this stuff in here is mine so it's not wrapped and some of it's kind of open but you get some kind of container 
I have a Star Wars lunchbox and you fill it up with a bunch of nerdy things or not all nerdy things you can fill it up with other things Eric had did this for me and he got me a Captain America cup like a really big Captain America mug and filled it with snacks and an action figure but what I did here is I took a Star Wars lunchbox and I filled it with a bunch of nerdy goodies so I put a little action figure in it this is um, a Funko reaction figure. It's of Mal Reynolds from Firefly. So you can just put a bunch of little things in there. They have these little guys from Funko. And this is from a mystery box. I don't have it in the box, but it comes in like a, a little square box. And he's in a little black bag. And you don't know what you're getting. I got Merle from The Walking Dead because I got The Walking Dead box. But you don't know what you're getting. And it's kind of like a little surprise. And I put in a movie, because you never know, like, maybe they really wanted just Captain America Winter Soldier, but you just didn't want to get him Captain America Winter Soldier. And then, to kind of tie in with the theme that I've been showing you guys, I put the Bro on the Go book, which I literally paid, like, five bucks for. Um, it's just the Bro Code, but a little mini version. You can put snacks, you can put, like, popcorn snacks, you can put cosmetics if you know what kind of cosmetics they like, like lip gloss, hand cream, lotions... You can fill up the container, and it gears towards their fandom, so you don't have to get Star Wars. You can get, like, a Doctor Who lunchbox or a Batman lunchbox. I've seen these everywhere. I believe I got mine from Old Navy, and you can just fill it up with a bunch of, like, nerdy cool things, and not some ner nerdy cool things. You can put a toothbrush in here if you really wanted to, but it gives them something from something they love and other things in it. You could totally just... I don't want a pop figure fit in here. No. I might. You could totally put a pop figure in here, and you could totally just theme it to Star Wars. You can do what I did and make it, like, random. But it's it's a really cool kind of thought of getting something like this and making it kind of like your own little loot crate or nerd block or your own little, like, nerdy goodie box. And I think that's really awesome, and it shows that you put a lot of thought into it. I did something like that last year for a secret Santa I had at work, but I did it to, like more of like beauty themed, and I put like hair dyes and because I knew what kind of hair dyes she had, um, makeup and like lotions and stuff. So it's just it's really kind of fun, and it it's fun to actually make because I love making things like these. So that is it. That is my nerdy ner uh, <laughs> my. Uh, so that is it. That is my gift guide for your nerdy or geeky girl in your life. I hope this was informative. I hope this helped you and gave you some ideas. Because I know that shopping for me is, even though I think it's really easy, because I'm like, oh, I like Star Wars, and I like this, and I like that, and I'm just so easy. Just go get me something from Star Wars. And, ooh, look, awesome gift. But people don't, people who aren't me <laughs> don't think that. So I hope this really helped you out in your little gifting of your nerdy girl in your life and give you some ideas maybe helped you inspire you to get an awesome gift for your the nerdy girl in your life so I hope this really kind of like inspired you and kind of gave you some ideas to get that nerdy girl in your life something awesome something that is a little bit outside the box or something that you normally probably wouldn't have thought of you're like oh those pop figures i would never have thought of that but yeah so i hope this helped you guys out a lot and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please thumbs it up if you haven't subscribed to me yet please subscribe and share this video show show people be like guys you want it you want some ideas on what to get me for christmas watch this video <laughs> share this video with people help people out um to get their nerdy girl in their life something awesome and don't forget to check out my friend's video her video will be linked down below she's got some awesome ideas too so that could definitely give you some ideas and some like awesome things to get the girl in your life who so happens to like some nerdy things so I'll see you guys in my next video